Left is honoring Coach Stephen Hill. Left fielder, number four, Tommy Hilliard. Tommy is honoring Mrs. Meredith Atterbury. Shortstop, number six, Luke Fisher. Luke is honoring pitcher Kent Travis. Second baseman, number nine, Blake Whitney. Blake is honoring Mrs. Jamie Whitney. Catcher, number 23, Dallas Clements. Dallas is honoring Mrs. Stephanie Hawkins. Pitcher, number 15, Darren Brock. Ben is honoring Coach Jacob Agnew. And center fielder, number 27, Braxton Durrett. Braxton is honoring Coach Dawson Smith. Brookhill is coached by head coach John English, assisted by Dawson Smith, Stephen Hill, and Dan Gold. Now please rise as we are led in prayer by Brookhill Upper School Principal Matthew Beasley and remain standing for the National Anthem. Let's pray. Loving God, we can gather to this day and we pause to express our gratitude for the blessings of community and competition. On this Saturday of History Nation Night, we express our thank you for the dedication and wisdom of all that have and receive it. Let's each play on the field of safety, sportsmanship, and aid this game against our friends from across town be a testament to the values we cherish and live by. May our actions reflect your grace and peace. In your loving name we pray. Good afternoon, everybody. Keith Whitman along with intern Claire here at Brook Hill at Harrington Field for tonight's game between the Brook Hill Guard and the Trojans of All Saints. Intern Claire, how's it going? It's going. Today was senior picture day, so I'm living on a high right now. And I know that you uh, have your timeline down. How many days until you are done? Uh, 52. 52 days until 52 days. graduation day, she tells me every morning. Uh, 52 days or 51 yeah she's counting down trust me every day but we're kind of excited and we're not we don't want to let her go but we are excited for her going off to college this year but we are excited for tonight too it is tuesday night here in east texas and tuesday night here at brook hill for tonight's game and the trojans in the guard gonna be a good one here and we're glad that you're with us if you are watching go ahead and uh get on over to that chat we'd like to hear and chat with everybody that's with us and uh, get to see who all's watching and who all's listening to us and kind of just tell us where you're watching from, who you're rooting for, and what's going on in your world. 
As we get things going here, we're going to kind of go over the starting lineups. We have uh, for the Trojans, number 22, Nate uh, Mink. Uh, number 6, Sawyer Bousquet. Number 31, Carson Wright. 25, Calvi Courtney. 23, Kaz Franks. Number 14, Finley Markle. Uh, number 13, Hudson Lane. Number 17, Will Walker. And number 9, Hunter Henson. As for the guard on the mound, is going to be number 15, Ben Bratz. And we have third base, Cooper Schock. In right field, Lever Levi Visser. At first base, Lex Rich. In left field, Tommy Hilliard. Shortstop, Luke Visser. Second baseman is Blake Witten. Behind the plate, Dave Dallas Clements. And designated hitter for tonight is Samuel Williams. So we are excited about what's about to happen here. It's a little bit windy, so I apologize. You'll hear some wind coming in and out. And so uh, it'll uh, kind of blow. I got the, the, the volume down as best I can, but I also want you to hear the crowd noise as well. So just kind of bear with us as we go. But wind's picking up. It's gotten a little cooler as the night has gone and the sun goes down. So we hope to make sure that uh, you get to hear the ball game and all the fun and glory as we get things going. It is Teacher Appreciation Night here in Brookhill. And right before uh, the game started, uh, the players walked out on the field with their uh, favorite teacher or who they appreciated. It was kind of a neat little deal. I love it when they do that kind of. Uh, activity. So we're about to get things going. Number 22, Nate Mink, is going to lead things off for the Trojans. And here we go. First pitch coming out at Harrington Field on the campus of Brook Hill School in Buller, Texas. And it's going to be fouled back for strike one. And the Trojans in Taps Division Three, District Three. As that pitch just misses the outside corner for a ball, one and one the count. All Saints sitting at 10, 19, and 1 on the season. That's going to be the outside, so two balls and one strike. Their last game was a loss, 3 to nothing against Fort Worth Christian. Uh, about a week ago. So they're looking to bounce back here today. That's a swing and a foul ball back towards their own dugout. Brad's looking in. Sweeney miss. Strike three. So the first batter is down on strikes. Now batting for the Trojans, designated hitter number six. And so number Sawyer six, Bousquet. Sawyer Bousquet is going to step in. Designated hitter waiting for the first pitch. That's going to be a nice little curveball, but doesn't get across the plate like he wanted it to for ball one. <laughs> and that's going to come in and run in on Busk and uh, hit by pitch. So Trojans. We'll have 
have a runner on. And that'll bring up Carson Wright. Now batting for the Trojans, catcher number 31, Carson Wright. Carson Wright, a 667 hitter based on the stats that we have. That's going to be fouled back. And time by the umpire. I don't know if uh, Wright called the time, but either way, we, we're going to sit and wait. Bus takes a few steps off first. Brotz takes a look over, goes to the stretch, finds what he wants, and here's the pitch. Good pitch down the middle. That's going to go right in between, but it's caught by the shortstop. Throw over to first in time for the out. And a good job by Visser. That's going to be Luke Visser for the catch and the throw over just in time to Rich for out number two. That's the bat for the Trojans. First baseman, number 25, Calvi Courtney. Calvi Courtney is going to come in. Runner in scoring position, but two outs for the Trojans. So be anxious to see what happens. Courtney, a 500 hitter. And that one's going to drop right in front of home plate. And a good job by Clements to stay in front of it and keep it from going anywhere. And Key Busk on second base. As he takes a few steps. Off of second, nobody covering. So the guard not interested right now, at least. And time at the plate. Courtney steps back in. And we're ready to go. And that one's going to be hit, and that's going straight to Visser. But he bobbles it, and an error is going to be called. He tries to catch Busk, trying to go home, and can't do it. But an error is going to be called on that one, as Courtney will get to first. And Kaz Franks is going to come up. Franks batting 333 for the Trojans. Perhaps at the pitch. And he swings and it goes foul ball down third base. Sorry, Miss Charity Wright Whitman. Um, intern Claire is not playing in the game tonight. But um, you can root for her all you want. Actually, I am. Oh, okay. Gotcha. I'm the halftime performance. That's going to be a strike on the outside corner. A good pitch. So no balls and two strikes to Kaz Franks. Runners at the corners, two outs for the Trojans. If you'd like to chat with us and let us know what's going on, where you're watching from, who you're rooting for, here's a pitch, and that one's going to go diving catch, or miss, excuse me. Uh, shock, missed that one. A good backup by Visser. And a run scores as Bus crosses home plate, and the Trojans are on the board first. So Finley Markle will step in 
for All Saints. With runner in first and second. Still two outs. As the Trojans are making a little bit of a run here. Bratz looking at second. And it's going to bring it in. Good pitch. Marco wanted to take it, but he thought it might be a little high, but the umpire said no. That was right in the strike zone. That one's going to be high and inside, so a good hold off by Markle. One and one the count. Runners at first and second, two outs for the Trojan, one run already in. We're in the top of the first. Time called by Markle. And here's the pitch. Good breaking ball on the outside corner. Um, I believe he called that a strike. Yes, he did. It was good. One ball, two strikes. And another time it's called so these uh all saints batters don't like uh waiting very long they like to call time out a lot at the plate here's the pitch that's going to be low and outside count even at two Inside. So full count. Rats looks in. Here's the pitch. And that's going to go to first base. Rich is there. He's just going to trot over to first. Tag it. And that's going to be out number three. So Bratz gets out of a big one there. Uh, Could have been worse. Only one run comes across. We're through the first top of the half inning. We'll be right back. You're watching NetSN Baseball, brought to you by Azalea Orthopedics. Don't go anywhere. Struggling with mobility, chronic pain, work, or sports injury? At Azalea Orthopedics, our team of highly trained physicians specialize in complete orthopedic care, pain management, sports medicine, physical medicine, and rehabilitation. If you've sustained a bone or joint injury, have mobility or movement problems, struggle with pain, contact Azalea Orthopedics. We're conveniently located across East Texas, serving 18 counties. When visiting your doctor, urgent care, or hospital, you have a choice. Demand Azalea. At Azalea Orthopedics, your health is our priority. back here at Harrington Field on the campus of Brook Hill School. And uh, it is Teacher Appreciation Night here at Brook Hill. And then walking around, there's a raffle going on for anyone that has, I, what is it, all orange? Is that what all it is? All orange and all staff members. All orange and all staff members. And so busy night for some people here, but a good recognition night for staff members as a a school staff member myself, I understand. Not a Brook Hill, but I am a staff member, so we like to be recognized every once in a while, depending on what it's for. If it's bad, we don't want to be recognized. We just want to be ignored. 
Brook Hill is going to step up for the bottom of the first for their opportunity to uh, get in that batter's box. And Leading off for the Guards, third baseman, number eight, Cooper Shook. Cooper Shook is going to be the first one to step in that box. Hunter Henson on the mound for the Trojans pitches that first one inside for a ball. So two balls and no strikes after that pitch. It's going to be a fly ball out into left field and it's deep and to the wall. It's going to bounce off the top and a throw in stand up triple for Cooper Shook. And just like that, the Brook Hill guard have a runner in scoring position. You were, you were looking down at your paper you have there. What you didn't see is they caught the ball after it bouncing off, then proceeded to drop it oh. again. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, I saw it hit the top of the, the wall as Levi Visser comes to the plate. And time is called. I'm not sure what's going on. I am also not sure. All right, I think they had to put a he had to put a glove on or something. So here we go. So Levi Visser, a right fielder, going to step in. Henson looks in. Here's the pitch, and that's going to be a hit over to third baseman. And uh, the throw is going to be high over Courtney's head, and the run's going to come in. And so Visser will reach, and he's going to go to third as that one's thrown over the head of Phillips. Correction, Minky. So two bad throws. But they left him at second. So now Samuel Williams is stepping in. And Henson looking, ready for the pitch. That one's going to be outside. A good stop by Carson Wright to keep Visser from advancing to third. Pitch by Henson. Another high and outside. And Visser going to trot back to second. Williams steps into the batter's box. Here's the pitch. And that's a half swing, goes over to the dugout. Make it two balls and one strike. <laughs> Pitch low and outside, good stop. Three and one, now the count. One and one your score, runner second 
And nobody out for the guard. And we are in the bottom of the first here at Brook Hill. Good crowd for both sides. And that's going to be fouled back and bring it to a full count. So Henson takes a look in. Check second base. 3-2 pitch. And that's going to be low and outside. Goes underneath. Visser is going to head to third. As Wright loses that pitch. And so now runners at the corners. Nobody out for Lex Rich to head to uh, the plate. Rich ready. Henson gets the side. And Rich squares around for a bunt. But Henson throws over to make sure Williams stays over at first. And wind picking up pretty strong here. Rich squares around again for the bunt. Another throw back over to first. Not wanting Williams to advance over to second at all. And we'll try it again. And throw over to, th oh, they caught Williams in the rundown and he is out trying to steal. And a good little fake move by Henson to catch Samuel Williams trying to steal second. And that'll be out number one. So that should change the game plan possibly as Rich has yet to receive a pitch at this at bat. He squared around a bun every time, but maybe swing away this time. That's going to be inside, almost hit by pitch, but good way to stand your ground. And that's going to be high and outside for ball two. Two balls, no strikes. Runner at third, one out, one run in for the guard here in the bottom of the first. Swinging and a miss, good cut by Rich, but just couldn't get around on it fast enough. side and they're going to say hit by pitch as it grazed him and Rich will take a stroll down to first base and Tommy Hilliard will take his place in the batter's box so once again runners at the corners for the guard one out this time. And Hilliard waiting for the pitch. And he's going to hit that one all over the first baseline and foul. So 0 and 1 the count.
Checking Rich over at first. Maybe trying to set up what they did to Williams earlier. Here's the pitch. That's going to be a breaking ball. A little high outside. It'll bring the count to one and one. Henson set and brings it home. That's a swing and a miss as Hilliard makes a good cut, but doesn't connect. One ball and two strikes. That one's a good hit. And that one's gonna get into the left field. And run's going to come across as Visser strolls across. That's the bat for the guard, shortstop, number six, Luke Visser. So as Levi Visser comes across, Luke Visser's going to head to the plate. Runners at first and second, one out. Still in the bottom of the first. Here's the pitch home. That's going to be outside for a ball. Two runs scored now for the guard. The only out came on a caught steal. Samuel Williams. And a good pitch by Henson as that one broke right across the plate. Checking second is Henson. A little extra time, but that high pitch inside brings it two and one. Wind still going fairly steady, but the sun going down. Beautiful skies here over Harrington Field at Brook Hill School. Here's a pitch. That's going to be outside, and Carson Wright makes an attempt to fake out on the throw down to first. Here's a pitch. That's going to be a hit up the middle. Nate Mink there. Double play attempt is no good. So they get the runner down at second. Brings two outs on the board. And puts the runners the at the corners. Second baseman, number nine, Blake Witten. So Blake Witten is going to head to the plate. Runner in scoring position down at third. Runner over at first. Two down for the guard. Two runs scored already. So over to first. Not a fast-paced game here at Brook Hill this, to this afternoon. There's going to be a pitch and a hit in the head as Witten had to go pick up the helmet. 
And that will load the bases. The ball just got away from uh, Henson there. And Carson Wright is going to head out and have a conversation. And so is the coach. <coughs> so time out on the field. And we'll take a short break. We'll be right back. You're watching NetSN from uh, Rook Hill. Don't go anywhere. Conversation is now over. Base is loaded. Two away for the guard. And Dallas Clemens, the catcher, stepping into the batter's box. And we're all still in the bottom of the first inning here at Brook Hill. That's going to be low. Good stop by Wright. As right now, any mistakes that are made, pass balls will surely make the score with Lex Rich coming from third. High pitch. Right around about the neck. Four ball, two and oh. And that one's in there for a strike. Good pitch by Henson. Pitch way outside. Carson Wright makes that grab. <coughs> Pardon me. Are you wearing the same? Okay, no, <laughs> ha no Hamilton for baseball today. No. <laughs> Henson in the stretch. Here's the pitch. Good pitch. And a swing and a miss by Clemens. I think he was swinging for the fences on that one and just forgot the ball. So full count <coughs> with bases loaded and two outs. So a big pitch here for Hunter Henson. And going to throw over to third and no, he's not. Trying to catch somebody running, but it's hard to do with the bases loaded because uh, there's nowhere to go. Checks the sign. And here's the pitch. Swing to miss, strike three. So Henson pitches out of this. Pretty good job. And uh, only two runs come away. Bases left loaded by the guard. Not really what you want to do. But not a bad start. Two to one is your score after one. And we'll be right back. You're watching Tuesday Night Baseball on NetSN. Brought to you by Azalea Orthopedics. Don't go anywhere. Ahead. All right, so we are back, and one thing we're going to do, we, we were talking about how we want, uh, you know, if you're watching, we love to chat, and uh, we've had some good success with, with people chatting in the past, 
So if you are watching, go ahead and reach over there and chat with us a little bit. Tell us, you know, about yourself, what your name is. Of course, we'll get it any way we can chat with us. But where you're watching from, what, who you're rooting for. But also, we're going to do a little something uh, here in a minute where we're going to ask a trivia question. And uh, intern Claire is going to start. She's going to do her trivia question. That one's going to be a baseball. I'm going to ask just a random question later on just because I can. But go <laughs> ahead, intern Claire, tell us uh, the trivia question. And then if you're listening, go ahead and uh, – uh, tell us in the chat what your answer is. And then in the third inning, top of the third, we'll answer the question. So go ahead, Intern Claire. Okay. Today's question is what team was sanctioned for its sign-stealing scandal during the 2017 and 2018 seasons? What team was sanctioned for its sign-stealing scandal during the 2017-2018 season? And we'll type it into the chat, too. But go ahead and answer that in your chat. And we'll answer the question on the top of the third. Swing and a miss by Hudson Lane. To lead things off here in the top of the second. The Northeast Texas Sports Network is dedicated on... That's high pitch. One ball and two strikes to Lane. And he'll step out and take a time here. And a good hit out on the right field. And a good sliding catch by Visser. And that's Levi Visser for out number one. Now batting for the Trojan center fielder, number 17, Will Walker. Will Walker going to be stepping up now. Here's the pitch. It's going to be outside on the corner for a strike one. Good pitch by Brock. Still people coming in for the crowd here, so a good turnout for this local rivalry here between the Trojans and the guard. One and one on that pitch. That one goes for a ball. And a good little breaking ball goes in for the strike as one and two is now the count. And I apologize for my atrocious spelling. That's sanctioned in the chat there for sign stealing, not sanctioned. <laughs> Sorry, there's a C in there. Can't edit. I'm a guy. I know how to spell. I'm educated. You sure? That's a hit. Yeah, it's going to be over. And a good throw by Shook. Gets it over there to Rich. And out number two. Now batting for the Trojan pitcher number nine, Hunter Henson. Hunter Henson now stepping in. See if he can get things started here in the top of the second. He is the bottom of the lineup, and that's a little outside. And the release a little late by Kress. Here's the pitch. That's going to be a hit fouled back towards the dugout of the guard. So 
So one and one now the count. And time called. If you hadn't been out to, to the Brook Hill store, they got a lot of construction going on uh, on their campus and a lot of good good things that are coming looks like for their students. So a lot of a lot of good things happening here at Brook Hill School. That one's going to be on the outside corner for a strike. Good pitch by uh, Ben Brack. And one ball, two strikes. And it looks like they've cordoned off something over there, uh, Claire, for a, a clubhouse for Brook Hill. I heard something talk, but I can see signs. Be interested to know what that's all about. That's kind of neat. Two and two now the count. I bet it'll be a clubhouse. I bet it'll be a clubhouse. Like a Mickey's clubhouse or like a... M-I-C-K-E-I-S-M-U-E-Y. Yeah. I'm more blues bluey, really. Bluey right now. Bluey. That's going to be a hit over to the third base side and a diving catch by Visser, but not going to be in time. In fact, it's going to bounce in front of Rich, but a good attempt. And I don't know... I, whew. That was just a heck of a play. I mean, think even if he had gotten that off cleanly, I'm not sure if he'd have made it in time, but a good job for the stop. So Nate Mink, we're back at the top of the lineup for the Trojans with two out, one on. Mink had a strikeout. At his first bat back in the first. That's going to be a foul tip back into the glove of Clements. I don't know if it's going to be like Pee Wee's Clubhouse. Or <laughs> Sorry, I'll, I'll get off the, the Clubhouse thing here. It's going to be 0 and 1. Now the count. Here's the pitch. It's inside and hit by pitch. So no strikeout. This time for Mink, he's going to be heading to first. And that makes the uh, third, fourth hit, the fourth hit by pitch um, total for the game so far. Sawyer Buskey. Sawyer Buskey now coming up. He was hit by pitch at. Uh, in the first inning. Here's the pitch. Right down the pipe for a strike. He served that one up, and Buskey just decided to watch that one go by. Maybe he was saving it for later. Possibly. You never know. But it doesn't matter. It's a strike. 0-1. Now the count. Runners at first and second. Two outs for the Trojans. No runs across yet. We're in the top of the first. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike two. That one's inside. It's going to go to the walls as a pass ball by Clemens. Tried to get in front of it, but was unable to do so. So runners advance. One and two now the count. Uh, Sawyer Buskey. Hoping to bring some runs across. And Brad's trying to stop him, but good pitch, and he does. Strike out. And good job on that breaking ball to end the inning, or in the top of the first, excuse me. So keeps runners at first, and, or second and third. No runs come across. And we're going to take a break. We'll be right back as we're through one and a half. Don't go away.
Struggling with mobility, chronic pain, work, or sports injury? At Azalea Orthopedics, our team of highly trained physicians specialize in complete orthopedic care, pain management, sports medicine, physical medicine, and rehabilitation. If you've sustained a bone or joint injury, have mobility or movement problems, struggle with pain, contact Azalea Orthopedics. We're conveniently located across East Texas, serving 18 counties. When visiting your doctor, urgent care, or hospital, you have a choice. Demand Azalea. At Azalea Orthopedics, your health is our priority. Claire, they're giving away a lot of good uh, gift prizes over there. If I'd have known wearing all orange would get me a, a gift card somewhere, I might have done it. If, <laughs> if I like the color orange. Man, I, I just don't look good in the color orange. When burnt orange or orange of no, any kind is just No, abs- mm. mm, cannot do burnt orange. No. You will never see me wearing burnt orange. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's Brett's color. We don't do that for Brett or anybody else. So leading off uh, this one, I believe uh, the pitcher, Bratz, is going to be the leadoff batter in the bottom of the second for the guard. And I think we're about ready. Skies look a little... Cool. Helps if the camera actually stays on. We're working with a new camera here, uh, ladies and gentlemen, so kind of doesn't want to work with me today. Don't know why it's a still shot. So we'll keep with the two tried and true cameras. We'll go back and forth. I want to thank my partner here, intern Claire, who's always trusted with my production, keeping the balls and strikes and outs and the score for y'all. And the first pitch is going to be a swing and a miss. As Bratz is looking at it. No balls, one strike. Henson ready for the pitch. Here it comes. Going to be high and outside for a ball. Once again, if you are watching, we'd love for you to chat with us. Let us know where you're watching from who you're rooting for also and that one's gonna be fouled back also go ahead and check our uh, YouTube page and the content that we have we have some good upcoming events over the next few weeks a lot of baseball and uh, some soccer playoffs I believe that are going on and a lot of past content that we've had with football basketball that one's going to be straight up the middle, and it's going to be caught in a good catch by Mink. Mink is holding it, unable to make the throw. Brad's going to get the first. Now batting for the guard, center fielder. I'm sorry, third baseman, number eight, Cooper Shook. So Cooper Shook, we're back at the top of the lineup, and Shook. Started off the game with a triple, stand-up triple. He hit this one uh, back of the first all the way to the wall. And I'm sure he'd love to duplicate that triple. <laughs> Get that play on words. But <laughs> in the first, he had a double, duplicate the triple. Uh, wait, yeah, yeah. I don't have to I explain my yeah, joke. That was pretty yeah, funny, yeah. I thought. Yeah. It's not funny when you have to explain it. <laughs> well, but you look at me with that cow looking at a new gate look. And That's just, just my yeah. face. Well, yeah, I know. I see it all the time. It's what a daughter does. Like that right there, that look. Hink <laughs> Henson with the pitch. Here it comes. And a good little breaking ball, but it drops a little bit too far. It's supposed to go over the plate and not in front of it, and that one just didn't happen. So that's going to be a ball. Two balls and no strikes. Bratz over at first. Waits on it, but doesn't get it as it throws over to first. And 
Henson brings this one home. A little high. One thing I've noticed about Henson, he's got good movement on the ball. Just that release point sometimes is a little early and a little late. He's got to find that in-between point. But when he does, that thing just breaks perfectly where he wants it to. That's going to be high and inside. And that's going to be a walk. So he didn't quite make his triple, but he does get on base. And that'll bring Levi Bisser to the plate. Number three, Levi Visser. And Henson is a senior this year. Check second. And there's the throw, but not in time. It was a good little run as Mink tries to sneak in behind Brotz. Doesn't quite get there. From the stretch, Henson looks and brings it home. That's going to be high and outside. Runners at first and second, nobody out for the guard. And that one's in there for a strike. So one and one. That wind is just not letting up <laughs> as the sun goes down. I'm trying to, to lower the crowd volume as much as I can because I know it's going on but it's just not going away and throw to second again and almost got him that was a good little pick move as Mink sneaks in behind Brots again and I have to be careful Visser waits the pitch, and here it comes. And that's going to be hit in between second and short and to the left field. And now the bases are loaded. Good base hit by Visser. Up to bat for the guard, now Samuel Williams, Samuel Williams is up to bat for the guard. He had a walk back in his last at bat, back in the first. Since we are only in the second, that would be the only time he would be at bat. <laughs> so we'll see what the, po the coach puts together. Last time the bases were loaded. He had Dallas <laughs> Clemens up to bat, and he squared up for a bunt. But this looks like he's going to swing away. It's going to be outside for a ball. Infield for the Trojans are up on the grass in anticipation, possibly. Give it a ride, baby. Come on down. Go to any bag for the tag. Obviously, you want to go home first. Outside for a ball. You want to go home to make sure that you don't get a run. But it is a force at any bag. So Henson takes a look in, Samuel Williams, ready at the plate. And here's the 2-0 pitch. High and outside, ball three. So Henson's put himself in a little bit of a precarious position. SAT word of the day. <laughs> and it's going to be a hitter's pitch here, so we'll see if Samuel will watch it go or swing away. And it's a strike, and he thought it was a ball, but 
You, you can't assume on those because nine times out of ten, if it's anywhere close, the umpire is going to call it a strike. Little uh, dramatic effect there by Blue, in my humble opinion. So three and one is the count. Henson, ready for the pitch, and here it comes. That one's going to be flied out into left field. It's a high fly ball short, and it's going to drop fair. As no communication from what I could see. Uh, second, excuse me, shortstop, third base, and left fielder, all three converged on the ball, and none of them could get it. And uh, so that's going to put a run through. And Lex Rich to the plate. Base is still loaded, nobody out. And here's the pitch. It's going to be down and out. Good stop by Carter Carson Wright. Here's the pitch. It's going to be inside, hit by pitch. So that'll put a run. And that, he was hit by pitch last at bat as well. So two at bats, two hit by pitch. He's going to be sore on that side. And you might want to look at that being a little personal. I'm not quite sure. Now batting for the guard. Left fielder, number four. <laughs> Once might be an accident. Twice. I don't know. I, I might want to ask what I did to him. But Coach is going to go out and have a conversation and maybe ask what he did to him. But we're going to take a little break. We'll be right back. You're watching Tuesday Night Baseball here at Brookhill as they do a pitching change for All Saints. We'll be right back. <laughs> Well, we had a pitch and change while we were gone to break. Finley Markle, number 14, is now pitching for the Trojans. That's the bat for the guard. Bases are still loaded. There's still no outs. Left fielder, number so four. nothing happened while we were on break. Tommy Hilliard. And so Tommy Hilliard will step in. He had a base hit on RBI his first at bat. So anxious to see what he'll have going on here. That 
one's going to be a hit over to the shortstop and not in time as Mink could not get that in. And a run scores as a fielder's choice. Hilliard reaches on a fielder's choice. Now for the guard, and Luke stop. Visser, Number six, Luke Visser. will head to the plate. And Visser reached on a fielder's choice, his first bat. Markle's pitch, and that was a good pitch to me, but ball by uh, umpire, it looked like it went over. Of course, I'm a little more elevated. <laughs> you got something in your throat over there? Oh, it was a giggle. Oh, okay. I actually said something funny. Nice. Good score. Don't make me take it. <laughs> That's going to be outside for a ball. So 2-0 oh is the count as Visser steps in. Somebody over there in a Bucky's blanket. And throw over to third. Not in time. Little. Pushing and shoving over there at third. Three no the count. That one's low and outside, but it's a strike. Um, that I, I I don't know. I think Visser needed a nine iron to get that one out of the field, but I don't know. I saw that, that one. I'm straight down the middle. I do not think that was a strike. Yeah. But uh, what do I know? Pitching wedge. I don't think could have gotten that one out of first base field or out of the infield. That one's going to be a ball, and that one's going to be a walk, and that'll put a run on the board for the guard another run another run six to one is the score blake Witten's going to step in base is still loaded no outs still and finley markle pitching megan markle we're going to let that slide <laughs> Here's the pitch, and a swing and a miss, and a good, hard swing by Witten. Now, he was hit by pitch at his last at bat. We've had five hit by pitches in this ball game total for both sides. And another throw. Over to third. With all these hit by pitches, if we were in major, if we were major league baseball, we've had some warnings already, and maybe some uh, bench clearings, and the bullpens would have been opened up and coming <laughs> in from the outside. One and one is the count. Witten waiting on the pitch. And that one's going to be a high fly ball into short right field. And going to bounce right in front of Hudson Lane. He couldn't get there in time. And that's going to be a base hit by Witten. And that's going to be another run. Yeah, I don't think we'll have a Nolan Ryan situation. Back the guard, catcher number 23, <laughs> Dallas Which Clements. one? <laughs> Dallas Clements is going to step in. Clements ground out in the first. You know I laugh, but... It's true. I know. It's so true. <laughs> that one's a high pitch around chin high for a ball. Around yay high. Yay high. I always wonder where yay is. It's about yay, yay. high. Yay. You know, yay. Hi. That one's in there for what looked like a strike. That was a good pitch. I'm going to give it to, to Markle. He, that was a good pitch. That broke right in there over the plate. 
but they don't pay me to call down there. I just call it up here. It doesn't count. 2-0 the count. Here's the pitch. It's going to be outside for ball three. Base is loaded still. Nobody out. Five runs have come across for the guard here in the bottom of the second. And that one's in there for a strike. Good pitch by Markle. And that one's going to be a little high for a walk. And we have now batted around as the pitcher, Ben Brass, is going to step in. And so Wright's going to have a talk with Markle real quick. Don't forget, uh, when we make it to the top of the third, we do have that trivia question. What team was sanctioned for sign stealing the during the 2017-2018 season? We'll answer that at the top of the third when we get there. Please answer. Yeah, go ahead and chat with us and answer. We nobody's answered. I mean, I mean, I come mean, on now. you can you can Google it. Yeah, it's there. Anybody can Google. Bratz is going to hit that one into the outfield, the left field, and a run is going to score. So base hit again by Bratz. Uh, Cooper Shook will step in. He walked earlier in this inning. That's going to be outside, but on the corner. Good pitch for a strike. Infield playing in just a tad. Not quite on the grass this time. And that one's going to bounce into the catcher. So one and one to count. Still nobody out. Bases are loaded. And the Trojans just waiting for something to, to break their way. That one's going to be a drive down the left field line, but it goes foul. in there for a strike so a strikeout happens and out number one comes now batting right fielder number three Levi Visser now Levi Visser he had a base hit earlier That's going to be fouled back and uh, almost in play, but no, as it drops into the dugout. That one's going to be fouled back. So 0 and 2 the count.
fine mark. And that's reached out and grabbed. And the throw home is a tag in and out. Good job by Carson Wright to be aware and just to touch the base or touch home plate, excuse me. That's a bat for the Cards. Designated hitter number 10, Samuel Williams. Now Samuel Williams. He reached on an error earlier. Here's a pitch. In there for a strike on the inside corner, says the blue. And that one's a foul back out of play. So it was 0 and 2. Here's the pitch. Swung on and missed, strike three. And finally, the Trojans and uh, Finley Markle pitches his way out of this one, but seven runs come across, so the damage is kind of done, but the bleeding was stopped temporarily. And we're through two here at Harrington Field. We'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. You're watching Tuesday Night Baseball. Brought to you by Azalea Orthopedics on NetSN. We'll be right back. Struggling with mobility, chronic pain, work, or sports injury? At Azalea Orthopedics, our team of highly trained physicians specialize in complete orthopedic care, pain management, sports medicine, physical medicine, and rehabilitation. If you've sustained a bone or joint injury, have mobility or movement problems, struggle with pain, contact Azalea Orthopedics. We're conveniently located across East Texas, serving 18 counties. When visiting your doctor, urgent care, or hospital, you have a choice. Demand Azalea. At Azalea Orthopedics, your health is our priority. So we are back, and intern Claire has the answer to our question of what team was sanctioned for sign stealing during the 2017-2018 season. Intern Claire, what is the answer? The answer is the Houston Astros. Of course, cheaters. That's just what they are. All cheaters. <laughs> hey, cheaters never prosper. Except they won the World Series, I think, in that one. But 
Anyway, so I'm we pretty sure that was 2021. Uh, they they won more than that. Just saying. Um, I looked up the I know the <laughs> the World Series rings the yeah. other day. Did Theirs you? was 2021. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I know what I'm talking about. Yeah, you do. Okay, we got one and zero pitch. That's in there for a strike. As Rots bringing the heat on that one. Carson Wright up to bat for the Trojans here in the top of the third. Nine to one is your score. And the Trojans trying, going to try to uh, dwindle that lead down by the guard. One ball and two strikes. Brots with the pitch and a good hit deep into center field, but Durrett is there with out number one. Now batting for the Trojans, first baseman number 25, Calvin Courtney. So after the flyout, Calvin Courtney, who got the first on an E on an error back in the first inning. He'll swing and miss on the first pitch. That one's going to be uh, down the first base line, but just shy on the foul side of the first base back. So it'll be strike two. One ball, two strikes now to Calvi Courtney. Brats in the stretch. Here's the pitch. And a good hit into left field. And your left fielders there is uh, Tommy Hilliard makes the catch for out number two. So Kaz Franks is going to step in now. He had a base hit back in the first inning at his first at bat. Looking for a repeat performance at this at bat. Brock's going to try to do a one, two, three inning here as that one's fouled back out of play. Brock's looks in here from the stretch. Here's the pitch. Swing on and miss. Strike two, 0 oh and two, now the count. O2 oh pitch coming up, a time is now called at the plate. As Franks wants to step back and take measure of the next pitch. Here it is. That's going to be tipped back. So he stays alive. And the count's still 0-2. Two. two gone. No runs. And 
a timeout called. I think one thing that high school baseball might be missing is that little time clock that the major leagues has. Mm -hmm. That's a swing on and miss for strike three. So three up, three down go the Trojans here in the top of the third. We're heading on to the bottom of the third. We'll be right back. You're watching NetSN live from Brookhill School at Harrington Field. We'll the Northeast Texas Sports Network is dedicated on delivering the most entertaining sports broadcasts in East Texas. And if you're interested in having your next sporting event stream live, visit us online at NetSN. Bottom of the third, Brook Hill leads nine to one. <coughs> Pardon me. And I believe Lex Rich will be leading things off, if I am correct, which I usually am, but that's my daughter. Um. Don't say anything. I'm going to. Hold on, mute. Okay, now what? <laughs> Having the power is great. Leading off for the guard. Yeah, Lex Rich will First be leading things off. First number 21, Lex Rich. Lex Rich has been um, hit by pitch pretty much each at bat. We'll see what happens here. Takes that one to the ball. Here's Marco's pitch. That's going to be outside, but hits the corner, says Blue. Four strike. One and one now the count. And here's the pitch inside and once again hit by pitch. That's three at bats, three hit by pitches, two different pitchers. So uh, I'm beginning to think it's got to be personal. It's uh, got to be. There is no <laughs> way it's not because <laughs> uh, they already switched pitchers, and now this is the third time at bat, third time getting hit. Something's up. Something's up. Yeah, I, I don't know. May I? May it, maybe it's just me. But he's got to be. I mean, good lord. He's got to be sore, yeah, man. Yeah, on that one side because that's where they hit every. I mean, of course he's facing that way. But here's the pitch. It's going to be high fly ball back towards us. I would have caught it. Uh, no, because we're inside a building. No. Okay. <laughs> All right. So that was 0-1 after uh, Lex Rich will no doubt need some ice on his back over there. Tommy Hilliard. He had a, made it on a fielder's choice, his last at bat. And Rich is going to go and going to make it under the tag. He kind of tried to sneak under. Mink was there. The throw was there. But the tag was too high up on the body and didn't quite make it. So the steal is on. And now got a runner in scoring position for the guard. That's Hilliard. Sits and waits. That one's on the outside corner for a strike. So no balls and two strikes. And that one's going to go underneath in between the legs. 
Carson Wright and advanced the runner. One ball and two strikes to Hilliard. Nobody out. Runner on third. That one's going to be on the outside. Good stop by Wright. Wright's made a lot of good stops and probably kept a lot of runs coming across most of the night. Count even at two for Hilliard. 2-2 two -two pitch. And that's a hit by pitch. Now batting for the guards. Shortstop, number six, Luke Bitzer. So that's a hit by pitch number seven for both sides. The guard have only done two out of the seven, so you do the math. <coughs> Too much math. Math is hard. I think math is my highest subject right now, let's be honest. Other than band. <laughs> but, I mean, band. Luke Visser stepping in. Runners at the corners. Nobody out. No runs as of yet. And that one's going to be on the outside corner. Hilliard is going to just stroll on into second. Now two run or two runners in scoring position for the guards. That one's going to be inside for a ball. One and one now to count. That one bounces in. So two and one. Finally, the wind kind of has died down a little. As I say that, it picks back <laughs> up. <laughs> Here's the 2-1 pitch by Markle. That's going to make a good little comeback curve back into the plate for strike. So even at two now is the count as Luke Visser. He's reached on a walk and a fielder's choice so far in the ball game. And a swing and a miss. He actually foul tipped it into the catcher's glove, so out number one. At the back of the guard, second baseman number nine, Blake Witten. Blake Witten now. Coming in, he's been hit by a pitch and a base hit in his last at bat. He's going to step out. Here comes a pitch. And that one's going to drop in there in the strike zone. Sure, strike one. Markle finding his rhythm just a little bit. Has a good little breaking ball over the plate. And 
that one's going to hit the outside corner, says the umpire. So Witten finds himself down in the count. No balls and two strikes. With runners at second and third, one out, no runs across. And Finley Markle finding a little bit of a stride so far. And that one's going to bounce, however, right around the plate for a ball. That's going to be on the outside. And that's going to be into center field. And Will Walker is there. Took about four steps to the left. And makes the catch for out number one. But Lex Rich is going to stroll on after tagging in. Two down, but one run comes across. At the back of the guard, catcher number 23, Dallas Clement. So Dallas Clements. Steps up to the plate. Two gone, runner on second. And a swing and a miss by Clements. Swung really hard on that. Markle's going to step off of the rubber to check and make sure that the uh, runner at second doesn't go anywhere. <coughs> and another swing and a miss. So Markle doing a good job of making batters miss so far in this inning. <coughs> Pardon me. Clements has grounded out and walked so far in the game. And time was called prior to the pitch. So no swing, no strikeout. I'm not sure if the I don't <laughs> I doubt that the batter called time because he actually swung on that so I think the umpire actually called for himself. So we're gonna have do over for Markle and for Clemens for that much. Here's the pitch. That one's gonna drop just shy of the home plate. and be one and two. And I'm sure it's frustrating. Markle probably thought he was out of the inning with that last pitch before the time was called. And now he's got to regroup a little bit. That's a swing and a miss for a strikeout. So a good job by Finley Markle. One run does come across, but he was in a little bit of a pickle, but he pitches out of that After three innings to play. with two strikeouts in this one. So 10 to 1 is your score. We're through three here at Harrington Field on the campus of Brook Hill. We'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. You're watching NetSN, brought to you by Azalea Orthopedics. Struggling with mobility, chronic pain, work, or sports injury? At Azalea Orthopedics, our team of highly trained physicians specialize in complete orthopedic care, pain management, sports medicine, physical medicine, and rehabilitation. If you've sustained a bone or joint injury, have mobility or movement problems, struggle with pain, 
Contact Azalea Orthopedics. We're conveniently located across East Texas, serving 18 counties. When visiting your doctor, urgent care, or hospital, you have a choice. Demand Azalea. At Azalea Orthopedics, your health is our priority. And we are back. Pitcher number 14, Finley Markle. Top of the fourth. Finley Markle going to step in. Ben Brotz still on the mound for the guard. They're up 10-1 to one as Marco watches that one go by for a strike. <coughs> and swing and a miss for strike two. Good, good cut by Marco. He wanted that one. Just a little bit behind. That one is going to go back in foul territory. Stays alive. And that's a quote from a very good uh, old uh, prophecy by the Bee Gees. Bee Gees. Good one. <laughs> Thank you. Good poet. It is and National uh, Poetry Month. It is that, yeah. That's a good pitch on the outside corner, but not good enough, says the man behind the catcher. One ball, two strikes. That one is a good hit by Markle right up the middle, but that one's going to be caught by Visser, and Visser is going to throw it over to Rich, and that's going to be out number one. And I believe that's a correction. That's Witten, number nine. I, correct, um, I was wrong. Visser is the right fielder. And Witten is the second baseman. So I was wrong for the first time today. Mm. I'm going to mute you. So that was Witten over to Rich for out number one. Hudson Lane. Watches that one go by. He wanted that. He made the attempt and uh, just didn't follow through for strike one. Swung at that one, though, a little behind. Fouls that one off. He 
Here's the pitch. That's another good pitch. It's going to drop in right field. That's in front of Visser. And now a base hit by Hudson Lane. And that'll put Will Walker to the plate with a runner on first. One out. And a slightly signs of life for the Trojans here in the top of the fourth. Down by nine. Frost with the pitch. And Walker goes for the bunt. And the easy throw to first by Bratz gets the first out, or excuse me, the second out. Runner does advance over to second in scoring position. And now Hunter Henson will step in. So with two gone and runner on second, Henson going to try to bring him around. And he swings and misses that one on the outside. Brad flicks a second, nobody there. And puts that one in in good spot, but no call by the umpire, so one and one is the count. Brad takes a look, and here's the pitch. Swung on and missed for strike two. So one and two, now the count. Big pitch for Henson. <laughs> Looks in. And on the outside corner for strike three, as Henson goes down looking, and that puts us through Four and a half, three and a half, excuse me. Math is hard again. Three and a half <laughs> here at Brook Hill. We'll be right back. You're watching NetSN. Don't go. back at the bottom of the fourth. Your score here, 10 to one. As the Trojans have not scored since the first. Ben Bratz is stepping in. As the guard has scored in each inning so far in this ball game. Finley Markle. Trying to get things going and halt the surge by the guard as a foul tip back by Bratz. Four strike. Stays alive on that.
Markle. Ready for the pitch. Here it comes. And that one's going to be fouled back, stays alive. So Brat's not, not going to go away so easy. And there are four strikes, so uh, Markle doing a good job getting another strike out. His third since he's taken over. That'll bring Cooper Shook to the plate. Third baseman, number eight, Cooper Shook. And a good shot down the left field line, and that's going to stay fair. And Shook's going to head around second and slow up. So a good shot down the left field line just shades about a sh sh stays, excuse me, about a foot inside the fair line. At the back of the guard, right fielder number three, Levi the pitcher. So Shook has had a triple, a walk, a strikeout, and a double. Levi Visser steps in. That's going to be a shot and through the infield into center field. Will Walker does a good job. And gets on that quickly and gets it back into the infield. And the base hit. Puts runners at the corners. With Samuel Williams now heading to the plate. And a big at bat for the guard. Two on, one out, no runs as of yet. Markle takes a look at the sign, gets set, and trying to catch, but once bitten, twice shy, so to speak, so I don't think the guard are going to fall for that one again. Markle sets. Brings it home. And that one's going to go over for a strike. Visser is going to head to second. So two in scoring position for Williams with an 0-1 count. Here's pitch. And that one's going to be a little high and outside. Looked like a good pitch, but I think it was a little bit on the outside. <coughs> be a one and one count. Runners on second and third. Here's a pitch, and that's going to be a good hit. And that's going to stay fair down the right field line as Williams crosses around second, heading to third. And he is end up for a stand-up triple as Samuel Williams has an RBI triple here in the bottom of the fourth inning with two runs coming across and 12-1. to one. Now your score. At the back of the guard, first baseman, number 21, Lex Rick. Lex Rich stepping in. 
He hadn't really had a chance to do anything because he gets hit every time he steps into the plate. That one's going to drop a little low. I would say he's batting a thousand, but he's just <laughs> batting a thousand and getting hit. And that one's going to drop as well for ball two. Two and oh the count. And that one is a fly ball deep into center field. And it's going back and hits the track. It's going to hit the wall. And Rich is a stand-up RBI double. Now you kind of see why he got, he's gotten hit three times in a row. Run comes in. Makes it 13-1. to one. Here in the bottom of the fourth. And that'll bring up Price James, a new batter. So James will step into the batter's box, his first at bat. Here's the pitch. That's going to be on the outside corner for strike one. Markle takes a look from the stretch. Here's the pitch. Swing on, high, fly ball infield. It's going to go around the shortstop area. Mink is there with the catch for out number two. So Ben Kretzinger at his first at bat. We'll step in. Runner on second, two down, three runs gone in. It's 13 to one here in the bottom of the fourth. Markle getting the sign from the stretch. Checks second base and brings the pitch. High and outside, ball one. Four ball. Markle gets set. 2 0 pitch. It's going to be inside for a strike. And 
that's going to hit on the outside corner for a strike. So now the count evens up at two. As Krutzinger has two balls, two strikes, two outs, and a runner on second. Lots of twos. And he watches that one go across for strike three. And that's the end of the fourth. It looks like we're going on to the fifth, so uh, we'll be right back. You're watching NetSN. We are back at Harrington Field for the fifth inning. Leading off for the Trojans, shortstop number 22, Mink. Nate Mink is going to step in. Brots still on the mound for the guard. Here's the pitch. Swung on and missed for strike one. Mink has struck out and been hit by pitch so far. And another swung on and missed. So 0 and 2 the count. one's going to be hit over to the first base side. Rich has it. He's going to flip it over to Bratz, who's covering first, and that's going to be out number one. So a good play by the guard. Next up for the Trojans, base it's going to be six, Sawyer, Sawyer Busk. Excuse me, Buskey. Here comes the pitch in there for a strike. <laughs> and there's a swing and a miss for strike number two. Brats trying to the side retired quickly. A timeout called. Now we're ready. 0-2 pitch is heading your way. Here it comes. That's uh, in there for strike three. And Buskey will stroll back to the dugout. And number 37, Carson Wright. Now back to the Trojan Excuse me, 31, Kander. Carson Wright will head in. Carson Can't read my own handwriting. Wright has ground out and flown out in the ball game. He watches that one go for a ball. <laughs> Matt 
that one's going to be hit. Little dribbler over to third. And Shook is going to get that over to first to Rich. And I believe that's going to be the ball game, ladies and gentlemen. Yep, that's going to be it. Your final score here at Harrington Field is Brook Hill guard 13, All Saints 1. Well, we want to thank you for joining us for this ball game here at Brook Hill. I want to thank my partner in crime, as always, and Taryn Claire for helping out. She does a good job, and she's always entertaining. Uh, she works really hard doing the, the balls and strikes and make sure that all that's up there. But we're glad that you joined us. Thanks again for watching. And don't forget, you, this will be up on the YouTube channel uh, for you to watch anytime you want to go back and enjoy and uh, watch any of the other games that we have uh, from any other seasons that we uh, have on our channel. Also look at our future games that we have on our channel that you want to look at. Thanks for joining us. You're watching NetSN, brought to you by Azalea Orthopedics. We'll see you next time. Have a good night, everybody. Oh, 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 oh